Hey everyone! Thank you so much for tuning in to Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. Today I am going to make salted caramel macarons. Yum. Ever since I started my cooking channel, you guys have been asking me to make this. So here it is, a macaron recipe. Stay tuned. Let's begin by separating the egg yolks from the egg whites. You won't need the yolk, you'll only need three egg whites. You can use the yolk for a future creme brulee if you'd like or flan. Grab a hand mixer and mix your egg whites until frothy. And then you're going to go ahead and gradually add a third cup of white sugar and continue to mix with your hand mixer until the eggs create soft peaks. And you know when the eggs create soft peaks is when it kind of looks like Cool Whip and you can flip it over and it won't move. And in another bowl, you're going to go ahead and sift one cup of almond flour or almond meal. It's the same thing. And then one, one cup and one half cup of powdered sugar. Go ahead and sift that. And you can also use a strainer. It works just as great as a sifter. And then you're ready to fold in the dry ingredients with the fluffy egg white. and continue to gradually add the dry ingredients to the fluffy egg white and fold it in and if you'd like coloring on your macarons now is the time to add a couple drops of food coloring again fold until the color shows up and then you're going to place your macaron batter in a plastic bag and you can just cut the bottom if you'd like and then you're ready to Place it on a cookie sheet. You can use parchment paper or the silicone sheet that I'm using and just place one in circles. And then you're going to grab your cookie sheet and then release. And do that a couple of times. It'll take the air off the cookies. And now you're ready to bake at 300 degrees for 25 minutes. And you know your cookies are ready when you can take the cookie out and it won't stick to the pan or the parchment paper that you have. And it should look like this. And macarons look like shells on the outside and soft on the inside. And if it looks like that, you know you did the, a good job. And you know sometimes it takes practice. Place the other macarons on a cookie sheet to cool. And then after it's cooled, you can fill it with whatever you like. I made caramel sauce, so I'm using that, but you can use any filling. Enjoy! Alrighty, so the macarons are ready. I made, you know, the blue macarons, but they turn green, but inside they're blue. Ooh, I'm excited. And then I also made these giant ones. Wow. And then I also made some pink ones, and then the plain colored macarons as well. Can I try it? Yeah! And this has the caramel sauce that I showed you guys in a previous video. Got your milk there. <laughs> I am very impressed. This tastes just like the macarons you buy at the store. Thank you. At the, like that let store that you like. Oh, I love salted caramel. Like of all the macaron flavors, the salted caramel gets to I'm, me. They're so good. I'm not even joking. This tastes exactly like it. Thank I actually you. like this one a little bit more because the you have more macaron part. Like it's thicker. And, uh, oh man, it just tastes really good. Thank I'm pretty you. impressed. Thank I don't, and I actually, when we go, you're the only one who gets it. I never get it, but this is actually pretty good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You can make mm. macarons in any colors. You can even do it in different shapes. I hope that this basic macaron recipe helps you. And you can always do different fillings. Nutella! But I would definitely recommend Ooh, the caramel sauce. Because <laughs> it is so good. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. And remember to subscribe to Cook with April as well as advice from Justin, my handsome husband. And send in pictures if you make it. Oh, yes. Please do that. We have a Facebook and a Twitter account. And tag us. He's advice from Justin and I'm April Athena 7. So we love you, friends, and see you next Tuesday. That's the most important part of the recipe, you guys. Bye. Bye.